All right, welcome. It's More Than Organized Monday, and today we are talking again about a sacred money archetype. Um, I'm super excited. The work I've been doing lately with the archetypes has been really fun and interesting, and um, I've been I've been matching clutter issues with archetypes lately, and been doing a lot of work with that. And so I thought it'd be fun to do these videos where I also describe a little bit about that. So for those of you that don't know, sacred money archetypes are a way of um, putting a shorthand, if you will, to a set of beliefs, characteristics, behaviors that um, can, it's, a, it's for a whole set of things so that you are easily recognized um, as a set of those behaviors. Um, think about a hero or a uh, heroine or a villain. There's, you know, you, you typically know that they're going to do certain things in a story and, and that's what an archetype is, right? Who are you in the story? Whether it's the story of you or someone else, can you recognize an archetypal set of behaviors and patterns in within that person? And sacred money archetypes are mostly about your relationship with money is how they came to be and they're focused on that but they are a reflection of your relationship with everything else in your life as well, especially clutter and especially um, other relationships. And so knowing what your sacred money archetype is can help you um, keep the best stuff, let go of the stuff that's in your way. It can help you understand why something's important to someone else and not to you. Um, and so they're really handy to know these things, especially when you're in a group environment. Um, so today I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Maverick, um, which is, you know, the rebel, right? <laughs> Mavericks are rebels to a certain extent and or someone that can see a little bit into the future and um, don't really care that much about the opinion of others. And so Mavericks actually make for very good entrepreneurs, if that tends to be you. Um, and, and one of the things that I, I have been thinking about in terms of, of Mavericks is this line between creativity and work. And they tend to think of themselves as very creative and have a hard time thinking about work as a grind. And yet to be very productive as a creative person, you really have to figure out how to create enough framework and structure to get things done. Some um parameters for doing the thing so you don't spin out too much into uncharted territory where you can't get anything done um you want to be creative within a structure um so that something happens you can be accomplished you don't have to just wait um for the next creative thing so when you don't have some sort of structure in place and you're a maverick what you do is you create a lot of things that you don't finish and so that can lead to clutter, right? You'll end up with a bunch of piles of things that are projects that are that are partially finished. Um, or you might just say, I'm not going to do it that way. And so you don't implement a system um, that will actually help you achieve the goals you and, and objectives that you have. So it doesn't only have to do about money. Um, however, when it does come to money, what it is, is your ability to take risks. Uh, you might try new things before other people do. You might um, become the hero uh, for the underdog. So you might take someone under your wing. You might help support someone with money. And really, that's fine. Um, it's just part of who you're going to be as a maverick. Um, but it's a good idea to think about how you can embrace opportunities without overdoing the risk. How can you reel yourself in so you both have that excitement of doing something differently than other people do and still getting the result and your juicy desired outcome on the other end, right? Um, so think about that. How, how much Maverick do you think you might have in you? Do you put things off because you don't like the way other people do it? Do you start a lot of creative projects and don't finish them? Do you uh, become an early adapter of a lot of different things and so then you don't know what to focus on? 
right? All of these things can be problems with organization when you're a maverick. So we want to start looking at how to use your, your cleverness, your flamboyant nature to solve the problems instead of actually um, having them be in the way. And so think about that. I love this. Um, you know, sometimes the biggest risk is investing in the tried and true. What if instead of fighting the, the structure and the framework, you actually tried it out and then adapted it to your own specific um, situation? Anyway, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into the Maverick. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue talking about this. Although I'm going to throw in some holiday stuff as well as we get closer to the holiday. So I hope you have a great week in the meantime. Um, and I will see you next Monday for More Than Organized Monday.